in the hippie days of Byron in the 1960s, the bells ringing always drew attention. George! George. Over here, George! George! They called me eccentric. I don't know where they got that from. Maybe it was the bare feet, the scruffy beard. Maybe it was the foreign name, George Ferros. A friend of mine said, I was like the Byron Lighthouse, hard to miss. I lived here for over 60 years after coming to Australia as a 20 year old from the Greek island Kitera. They say Kiterians are born with a mission. Mine became aged care. As my parents grew in years, there was no aged care facility in Byron, so I set about changing that. I would walk the streets of Byron, ringing my bell with a box in hand for donations. Some thought I was a beggar, but the writing on the front of the box told the story. Collect for the nursing homes. Everybody gave something. And in return, I always gave them a blessing. By the time I left this earth in 1981, I raised over $80,000. It matters little that I didn't see my dream completed because I always knew it would happen. I'm meeting with a young matron at the hospital called Shirley Nelson. Five years earlier, guaranteed me it would. Byron is very different now from the resting place high above I watch as the locals have been overrun by tourists, something known as schoolies, who migrate to these beaches by the thousands once a year, a species called the backpacker, who doesn't seem to have a season, they just arrive all year round. And tucked away in the heart of all of this is a place that bears my name and an organization that has far exceeded my dreams and my mission. I guess when you plant the acorn, you don't know how big and glorious this oak will grow. <laughs> <laughs>